I'm Paul, and this is Gene. We're doing, we're doing Route 66 together. Gene started in California, and he's working say, his way to the east. And we started in the east and are working our way to the west. So, Gene, tell us a few places that you really like around Route 66. Actually, everything in Route 66. This is our mother road. This is how the country was actually made. If you start from east to west, you can see how the, the trail was originally made. Mm -hmm. But then, as you said, our paths will cross. So at some point, we get double cross, and you'll see the crossroads back there where we walk the Trail of Tears. So I'm walking the reverse Trail of Tears to show everybody we should have no fear because we actually have won. Mm -hmm. Right? That's what we have because we're going to live in the now. Yep. Because we are supposed to be one nation under God. And so that inspired me to actually go out and go back to what the executive order said, let's clear the swamp. Yeah. And then I need to figure out what that was because we're supposed to be saying a pledge and our pledge is one nation under God. Yeah. And we're the Republic, one nation under God. That's who we report to. Absolutely. So that's why I had to look, I had to go to discovery. And as I go down to Route 66, we planted lots of messages for me to go look at because I served our Navy for seven years. Okay. You know, I've been across the other countries. I blend in with everybody. And people keep calling about racist stuff, and it's, it, it, it's a, it, the discrimination is not real. Mm -hmm. it, it's made up. Oh, yeah. You know, it is. It's, you, know, you, got, you got bullies of one flavor that have people of the same flavor that they always picked on. We watched high school stuff, right, when we yeah. split up. Yeah. And then you move them all together, you still got the same bullies, but they pick on people of their own, they pick on people of the other flavor now, so you call it racism. No, it's not true. Yeah. Right? That's not how it works. We, so, yeah. what, what was one of your roughest parts? None. No, no, I've had a blessed journey. You, you, you guys will see it everywhere else, and you can go back. This has been day 151. This has been a blessed journey the whole time. Uh -huh. I've had the most gorgeous and perfect weather, and that's the reason why I recorded it so everybody can see. Okay. There's been blessed weather. Now you look around, and I'm like, I don't watch TV, so I don't know what's happening all over the world unless I go into a motel and I find out it's not owned by Americans. <laughs> so that's how you, you stay in hotels or motels along the way? If I can, most of the time I want to camp, but you know, a lot of times the, the, the stuff is private, so I got to knock on American doors and I look for people that actually are wielding our, our, our flags, our uh -huh. colors, because that's what we did back in Revolutionary War and Civil yeah. War. We made sure that it was our same colors because then we'd go in and we'd tell them we're brothers and they'd see that we bleed the same yeah. colors too. So, um, you've had good luck that you can stay? Ah, uh, it's no luck. It's no luck. People know it. They carry these flags for a reason. We have pride. Yeah. America has pride. We don't have a divide. You know, we took care. We, we took rid of divide. We, we split it up. Yep. But you know, we've been sensationalized to think other things. So Native Americans carry flags now, but then we can't carry our flags of, of yesteryear. Yeah. All right. So. All right. Well, gee, it was a pleasure meeting you, and good luck along the way. Thank you. Right. Peace be with you guys. God bless. All right.